off. <laughs> so we are out sailing today for the first time in a few days and it feels so good to be back on the water after completing some projects. Um, and we are doing five knots and we decided today, because it's a bit windier, I think it was like 18 knots of wind, that we were gonna do reefed jib and reefed mainsail. And so it's kind of nice because now it lets us go a bit slower, but get our confidence out in a bit heavy like wind for us. We, I feel like 15 knots is the most wind we've sailed in so far, right? Yeah. So a little bit like more today and it's a bit rolly out here. Yeah. Right? Right when we come around this point, I think the wind is gonna pick up. For real. It's supposed to be like 18 knots out there a little bit later. So we're kind of reefing everything and seeing what happens because we've never really sailed with reefed sails all that much. And yeah, it's a beautiful day for sailing. It's really fun to be out here. I feel like we've been like in the harbor doing projects and it like always, it's like with the van, you know, if you stay one place too long, you forget that like your home can move. Yeah, and... it just feels like so incredible to like sail this boat. <laughs> right? Yeah. I can't believe it's actually happening. Right? Yeah, it's so wild to be out here. Just like sitting, enjoying the like waterloo, like laid down, took a little snooze as we were coming back in. And I don't know, I can't believe like where actually you're sailing. Right. It's so weird. It's like, I think this is our fifth time out alone and the boat is moving just with the wind. Like there's no engine on or anything. And it just really feels so profound that it's actually happening. And like all the effort was really worth it, you know? Yeah. It's hard, honestly, to put it all into words, like what it feels like to be out here finally. It's like quite emotional, honestly, like just to know that like this is what it's like. This is the adventure, you know, like yeah. we are moving, we are sailing with the wind and we're getting like the hang of it, you know? Yeah. And it's like no one like that's what's so crazy, like in America after living in Europe with like all the different like, you know, there's no way you could just get a boat like this in Germany and just sail it because you'd need to prove that you aren't gonna like, I don't know, get in trouble. You'd have to like learn to sail with an official person and all this thing and get certifications. And for here, it's just like, you buy it, you, it's yours, take it. And we had no idea what we were doing. Just like, I think we're like a few days, like five days away from, or three days away from two months of being in the water. And it's like, we knew nothing two months ago, Lou. Yeah. Like nothing. <laughs> it's Zero. crazy. We didn't know how to do anything. And it's just slowly been picking it up. And like, yeah, it's shocking. Like the learning curve has been so steep. And I feel like today was our calmest sail. Yeah, you know? I took a nap. You took a nap. What? Yeah. It's just really cool that it's all coming together. And today's a really beautiful day too. But it's blowing. I mean, there's little white caps on the water. Like, yeah, it's we got 7.5 knots. Yeah, that was just for a hot second. <laughs> Today's been a calmer sail, like six knots, really, because um, we reefed all the sails. But that's nice. You heal a little bit less. So that's good. Love you. I love you. The wind is coming that way, Dana. Okay, that's fine. Welcome back to SV Penelope. It's an exciting day around here because we have another project to complete on the boat, which is just the normal life on the boat is 
basically all summer long. We've just been focusing on getting as many projects done as we can. And today's project is to install our Wi-Fi extender. And I'm really hoping that it works well and that we can get access to free Wi-Fi from neighboring Good Samaritans, like coffee shops and yacht clubs and those kind of, and bars and stuff. And then this way we can upload our videos without having to use our data from our cell phone because right now we're just tethering our phones to get Wi-Fi, which is working fine, but it's definitely not ideal because you don't want to use all of your data uploading videos when you can do it for free. So we have the Wi-Fi extender. Hopefully we have everything that we need to do the project. We are going to have to drill through the deck again, which is never fun, but hopefully we can do it. And yeah, that's the project for the afternoon. Did I say it's three o'clock already? I'm kind of tired. Hey! What a cute little antenna. The question is, does this antenna need to be like, I don't know, near a window or something? This is just for the internal Wi-Fi. Oh, okay. So this is just like from our computer to this thing. Yeah. Okay. Well, then it's nice for this to be an extra charge. Lingarium Leviosa. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty cool, right? Yeah. I think we want it this way, right? Free. Oh my gosh. Wi-Fi extender are not connected to optimizer. It's not connected to the extender. Oh! <laughs> Did, oh no, you plugged it in, didn't you? Oh no. It's fully plugged in. What the heck, man? Uh-oh. <laughs> Internet problems. I think I'm gonna just try unplugging it. Okay. You know, classic turn it off, turn it back on. WWAN slash LANIP conflict detected. The LAN IP network is the same as the IP network supplied by the access point. Let's just, I'm gonna get my computer out and see if this works. <laughs> That's not what mine says. So I wish we had a more satisfying ending to the story for you guys, but that's just the truth of it. Sometimes these boat projects don't work out the way we imagined. Thanks for watching anyway, and a huge thank you to all our lovely patrons for supporting this channel and making all of our adventures and misadventures possible. 
Welcome back to the Live Creatively podcast. It's Dana and Lou and we are recording live. It is 8 p.m. on Friday so sorry that this one's gonna be a little bit late. It's so hard when we're filming like day in the life videos to yeah. like everything just takes so much longer than we expected 